You see that camera right there? That's been giving me a lot of grief tonight already. Rosie here for Astro Photography. Today is quite a chilly, chilly, uh, what day is it? Monday, Monday night. I think it's like one degree out at the moment. But it's been three or four weeks since I last was able to get it out, and it's been too long since I last made an imaging vlog. So I received a ASI. As well as ASI 533MC Pro imaging camera to review, which is awesome. Excuse me. This right here is the Zwo ASI 533MC Pro. I received this to review, which is awesome. That is the Astra Essentials Mini Guide Scope with a Zwo ASI 120mm guide, sco uh, guide camera, which I got sent to review. That's awesome. So this is all sent to me from First Light Optics, and I'm kind of blown away by that. So right now I'm just getting a grip of how big the sensor size actually is, because it's it's measured as um, one inch square, but APT is registering it as 11.4 millimeters square, and the images that are coming through the camera collaborate. Uh, corroborate Stellarium for an 11.4 millimeter sensor so in the unboxing I kind of thought that the actual imaging area didn't look like um, didn't look like an inch so now I know don't know what I want don't know what I want to shoot tonight I was thinking of the heart nebula but that was under the impression that I had a wider field of view than I did so if this field of view is what I think it is, I'm going to go for the Fossil Footprint Nebula, I believe. NGC 1491 Fossil Footprint Nebula. It's a H2 region, so it's going to work quite well with the L Enhanced filter that I got. Um, as it's, like I said, it was similar to the Altair Triband filter I have. So it lets through Hydrogen Alpha, Hydrogen Beta and Oxygen 3. So I'm eager to test that and maybe compare it how it goes. Just doing the GoTo++ plus plus right now, now that we focused, focused in. So, see how tonight goes. Going back to dedicated camera caught me out. I even forgot gain. So, quick look at Flo's website. Uh, First Light Optics website told me what gain to use, I'm at gain 95 because it's just before unity gain, just before the high gain conversion I'm trying to find targets with this sensor is an interesting challenge, especially at 480 millimeters. like no, I didn't, that's it it should be good on galaxies M51 is a bit small. M81 would look good. I might do this sometime. Look at that for framing. That would look quite nice. I'm using 300 seconds because that was good with the DSLR with the HA filter. I also remember with the 183C I was using from the Altair Hypercam using the tri band, I was using 300 second filter. Uh, subs as well. And this has about the same quantum efficiency, this is 80%, plus the 183 is 100, uh, sorry, 84% quantum efficiency, so I thought it's a good starting point. And they, they look alright. The proof will be in the stack. On sub 10 of 30, so we've got only about half an hour of data at the moment. But yeah, should be okay. We'll see how the final stack looks when I've got as much data as I can get. So 
So some of the problems I've had, uh, ABT wasn't plate solving, it was taking about 3 minutes to plate solve an image. The mount lost its path position so it wasn't actually slowing correctly. Um, the images on APT being debated in the RGBB, RGGB are coming up really blue so it caught me out. Focus in the guide scope, that was another one, because you unscrew it and lock it. But I've got the USB cable on it and it's really tight so I didn't have much room to move the camera back to get it into focus. Guiding was also then playing up. I set it up as normal with the 128mm guide scope as it should be. It's 32mm f4, but that was then really all over the place. It was guiding, but the stars weren't sharp. So I did my usual trick of just leaving the profile set at 300mm guide scope. And that seems to be working well. And then just the mount not being recognised anymore, it crashed four times, APT crashed three times, just I had to upgrade all the, I had to update all the software to the latest software, but I did that the other day, so that didn't catch me out. But it's just, the new equipment gear ambulance have been in full force today, and I've been out here freezing my butt off, but it seems to be working now. Hold on the old faithful Evo Star 18.